Hello, my beautiful friends. My name is Carrie Cox. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you can be notified when future videos are released. Today is a beautiful sunny day in Arizona. It is beginning of February and it's going to be 80 degrees here today. And so I wanted to come outside while I am on a break from seeing clients and do a quick video uh, over an experience that I had yesterday. I wanted to share with everyone because uh, this week I'm gonna be releasing a lot of videos on letting go. So whether we are on a spiritual journey or not, we definitely want to practice letting go of things because when we hold on to attachments, we can create a lot of stagnation in the body, a lot of stuck energy and we want to move that energy out of our body and if you are on a spiritual path you probably are not allowing yourself to feel the emotions of anger ever because you know when we're on a spiritual path we're trying to keep positive thoughts at all times but we do need to make sure that we are moving those emotions out of our body uh empaths in general have a lot of stored held on anger inside of them uh, because not only are we repressing our own uh, thoughts and feelings but also collecting those and picking those emotions up from other people as well. One of the things I talk about in some of these other videos that I'm really saying this week is that emotions get stuck in the, in the body and Louise Hay says that she believes that every so-called illness we create in our body and I completely agree with her after working on hundreds and hundreds of clients I can tell you that I see all kinds of emotions and things that are held into the body when working with someone when they're on my table our body is a mirror for our inner thoughts and our beliefs and our body tells a story and when you can feel, sense, see, and know energy uh, the way I do, then you can look at someone's body and you can tell that story just by their posture, just by their illnesses, and the uh, things that are coming out of their body when you're releasing that stored tension inside. And so we want to make sure we are letting go of things that are old that we don't need in our life anymore. And one of the ways to do that is to do it through movement. So we move that repressed mo emotions out of the muscles, out of the connective tissue and out of the body. So one of the ways that uh, repressed anger can be seen in the body is through cellulite and through fat. Have you ever met somebody, and if you haven't, then I can tell you from personal experience that who has tried every diet, who has tried working out and can't lose a single pound. Weight isn't always about food and exercise. It's a lot about what we're mentally carrying around us and what we're keeping in the body and not moving it out. If we're holding on to repressed anger inside of the body then it's going to come out looking like cellulite and like fat sometimes people may hold weight on because they're trying to protect themselves they are empathic and they do take on other people's energy and a way to shield that is to shield it with your own fat it's protection and when we no longer need that shield because we learn how to work with our energy and we start letting go of that repressed anger, then we can start letting go of some of the fat. We can see how repressed emotions has a negative impact on our health. It has a negative impact on the way our body looks, the way our body feels, the illnesses and disease we carry around, and then also on our emotional and mental bodies as well. When we look at something like cellulite, cellulite is stored danger and also self-punishment so when we had felt danger in some sort some reason in our life if we had ever felt any kind of danger or fear that could have been stored in the body as cellulite and then uh, we may then begin to develop negative 
feelings about our body parts that have the cellulite on it. So then we begin to punish ourselves. We punish ourselves for the way we look, for the way we feel, and for eating certain things or not eating certain things. It becomes a mental game that we play with ourselves. And so it could come out in the cellulite. So what I try, what I have been trying to do this past week is I'm trying to release any kind of fears or anger from my body, uh, trying to let go of everything. Uh, I would say that most of my things that I'm holding onto my body are really, really, really old. It has nothing to do with anything currently. It's all from the past. And I've made a decision that it's time to start letting go of everything. It's time to let go of everything I think I'm holding on to. I don't even need to know what some of that is. I don't really care. I just want to move it out of my body. And that's exactly what I'm working on. So an affirmation I'm saying to release any stored emotions within my cellulite is um, I'm basically saying I forgive myself. I'm allowing myself to be forgiven for any kind of self-punishment I've been doing to my own self. So ways to release these emotions we're holding on to uh, is gonna look like movement. So we wanna move the body, of course. But within that, we also want to unleash the anger. And so yesterday I went and tried a cardio uh, boxing. It was a one-on-one -on -one session with an instructor who worked with me and helped me to move my body and learn how to basically box. But what I found with this is that the movement of the body, because I'm sensitive to feeling energy, I'm gonna to try to explain to you how it felt to me as someone who is very self-aware and aware of the, my surroundings and the energy around me. That the energy that was stuck inside of my, my body, I could feel it loosening around me and being set free and which would have been one thing so had I done something else yes it would have shaken up the uh, stagnant energy but add in the punching part now I am pushing that stagnant stuck energy out of my body I am taking it from just being shooken up and I'm projecting it outward and throwing it off. And I would notice that my punches would start off uh, kind of lighter, I guess you could say, not as strong. And it was like in that moment, I could feel the stuff moving about and then I could feel it coming to the surface and I allowed myself to feel the emotion and as the emotion rose up, my punch got stronger. I hit the, the pads harder and I could feel the energy come out of my body that way. So I will now be a huge, huge advocate of using something like a cardio boxing class of some sort or even just punching some punching bags in order to release this stuck and stagnant energy within us, this old repressed anger that doesn't even need to be with me anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. It's part of the past. And mentally, I know that, who cares? But now I'm working on trying to get it out of my body. I've mentally let go of everything, but now I have to physically let go of it. And so other ways, if you can't go to a boxing class to let go of this anger would be to do something like you know, in the moment when you start to feel that anger kick in, go into your car or into your house and just let out a gigantic scream. Go in your car, roll up all the windows and just scream or pound your fist into a pillow for a moment. We can't hold on to emotions. We have to get them out of the body. We have to move them out. And if we have to bang our fist down on a bed or a pillow, well, what's wrong with that? It's better than holding on to it and it developing into some kind of chronic disease or some kind of uh, posture dysfunction in our body or chronic muscle pain. Uh, another great way to release stored anger would be to play tennis or to run. So the affirmation that I am now starting to say 
daily while I start working on getting rid of these held in emotions in my body is that I am starting to say I'm willing to let go. And I say this out loud to myself every morning when I wake up and at night before I go to bed, I tell myself I'm willing to let go. I release all tension. I release all fear and anger and I am at peace with myself. You can say any, any kind of words or affirmation you want, whatever feels more natural to you, but this is what I've been telling myself. This is what I am telling my body to do and I'm forgiving my body, I'm forgiving myself, and I'm telling it to go ahead and let go. I don't, I don't need the protection anymore. So after I left this boxing session yesterday, I felt amazing. I felt lighter, there was a smile on my face, I felt happy, and uh, I now wanna do it again. So I'm doing it again in a couple days. So I am gonna make time and make it a priority to do something for me because I spend a lot of time working with other people and helping other people. And for this year, I am going to start putting into action what I'm telling everybody else to do. So it's time to let go. I hope that you guys got something from this video and that you have something that you want to let go in this 2021 as we are into the new year. I hope that this has inspired you to let go of whatever it is you need to let go of, whether that's fears, karma, patterns, beliefs, anger, guilt, whatever it is. I hope that in 2021, you can let go of all of these things you may be holding on to. And in the end, what this will do is raise your vibration to another level. Amazing new things come in when we give this space and let go of something we know that no longer serves us. Something good comes in. Whether that's new career opportunities, new friends, a new level of consciousness, a new awareness, and a new motivation for something amazing. Take care of my beautiful friends. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Namaste.